That night, the only thing I knew was my name. I found my apartment, or even if it was my apartment, trashed and smashed everywhere. The cut on the back of my neck was something. I don't know what it was, but there must have been something related to it. My name is Robert Frost, named after the poet. I was born on January 23rd, 1989. The year is May 11th, 2015, Saturday, 6.52 p.m. That is all I know. I sat around the couch wondering what was going on for about one hour, when all of a sudden the doorbell rang. I mean, who the hell do you think I am not answering my calls? Holy Jesus! Hey, who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Who the hell do you think I am? It's me, your best friend Terry. What the hell happened to your apartment? It looks like my ex-wife came through here, and look at you, it looks like you haven't slept in a week. Okay, listen man, I don't know who the hell you are, who the hell am I, or even what the hell I am. What are you talking about, you on drugs? I Okay, listen, I just found myself in this apartment, I don't even know if it's my apartment, and it's all trashed and smashed, and look at me, I, I, I'm beaten up, I don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? I thought we were going for a night out tonight, you get hit in the head, you have knees or something? I think so. Well, is this on the back of your neck? Jesus, man, you alright? I'm fine. Christ, you're bleeding. Okay, listen. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't help you're throwing all the stuff at me, okay? Listen, did you want to go? Could you say up? No, no. I'm actually really, really sorry. Alright, look. How about I sit you down, buy a drink, tell you everything you need to know? Okay, I guess that can work. Alright, I'm ready whenever you are. And for Christ's sake, get some sleep. Hey, so what the hell is that? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to get across. You did your one thing, you made Robert Frost. Yeah, I already know that, and I was born on January 23rd, 1989. When did you finish? Go on. So you live in Maple Street, apartment number 3 in Toronto, Canada, and you also work in the North Street. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, excuse me, do you have a pen? Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start 
been doing lately, you little pig? Who? Who's there? What do you want? Nothing. Your voice sounds familiar. You should remember me, but you can't because of the drug. What? Don't know. How about I show myself? Looks like you need a shave. Let me give you one. There. That wasn't so bad. Now my boss gave me strict orders to finish you off. You know what? I will.
Jesus. I am now in a ocean of my own memory, trying to look back at the moments before. I can't let this go. This may just be my possible amnesia. However, someone like me does not have amnesia. I am living in a hell of awkward and disturbing moments from my childhood to where I am right now. Kind of like a child, my behavior is adolescent-like. I am thinking more and more every hour, trying to come up with a harsh description. Maybe I am thinking too hard. This man was like the son of Sam, putting me in this horrible position. I think more and more, and finally, like a light bulb turning on in my head, I think of a decent description. Who the hell are you? I am your childhood, Robert! Now follow me to your past! Come on, now follow me! Trouble, I mean. You have no idea how much crap I've been going through. Now, I'm gonna take you to my house and I'm gonna ask you some questions. If you refuse to do that, I'll blow your face off. Alright, everything not to get shot. Alright. One, two, three, go, come on. Okay, I know we did some dirt to you, man, but is this really necessary? Yes, yes it is. You have no idea how much deep shit I am in. I am a freak. I can't sleep, I can't think, and it's all because of you guys. Yeah, I understand, but... No, shut up! You have no idea how difficult it is for me. For God's sakes, I can't tell the difference between my own reality.
that you're going to tell me every single detail. Because if you don't, I'm going to kill you in the most painful of ways. Yeah, alright. You electrician, what are you going to do? You don't believe me? No, I really don't. Alright. Let me show you. Oh jeez, what are you doing? Wait, wait! You're gonna tell me everything? Of course. Tell me your name. My name is Michael. Your name is Michael? Yes. Okay, wait. Let me write this stuff down. Okay. Tell me all the names of the people the night before. No, 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 I can't do that. They're gonna kill me. No. They won't. I will. Oh Jesus, you really want your memory back, man. No. I want revenge. First, there's William. William's on 25th Avenue Street, not too far from here, though. Second, Nicholas. Nicholas is by a park. Third, Jody. Jody's on level 2, apartment of 7, on Paper Street Road. I would mention Alex, but he got killed off by the mob. So why do you want to know the names? So I can find out why the hell did you guys do this to me? We did this to you because he joined the mob, which was us. And then he betrayed us, which meant you never have, that you never can walk again. That's bullshit! What's the real story? That is the real story. No, it's not. See, the real reason why I want to know their names is so I can kill them. No, 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 man. Trust me. We can get your memory back. And I'm first going to start off with you. No, 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 no! Oh my god, coming! Alright, so what the lab needed that night? You were so drunk I didn't know what happened to you. Don't worry about it, I'm fine! But I got great news. What? Did I ever tell you the reason why I have not have an amnesia? Is because I was beaten up by five men so badly that they implanted a drug inside my, my brain that allows me to not tell the difference between my own reality? No, when did this happen? Uh, don't worry about that. But I now know the five names of the men who beated me up. And I want revenge. And you're gonna help me. Robert, I can't do this. I'll get in as much trouble as you. Nah, I don't it. But I got something I'll do. I got something else to show you. Jesus. This is so illegal. Same what they did with me. Do you not understand the whole point of revenge? I understand, but this can all be resolved if you call the police. You really think the police would believe a story as bizarre as this? Alright, I guess. Makes sense. Ah. Uh, uh. You understand what I'm trying to get across? Yeah, but how are we gonna do it? Simple. He gave me the address, we go in there, knock him out. Piece of cake. This is so sick. Listen, human beings are sick in their own little ways. It's not that surprising, isn't it, now? Oh, but this isn't you. I would never expect these things to come out of your mouth. But guess what? I have changed. And I mean it. Now I want you to go in there and kill him. But how? Beat him up with a hammer. Let's just get this done over with. Ah! 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 No! That night, 
Me and Terry took out the body by a road and we buried him. That massive head trauma was pretty wicked. I could have never imagined I'd kill somebody as aggressive like that. I now know by the time I killed him, I had no way of getting out. It just goes to show people are willing to do anything for revenge. Even using their own frying pans to murder someone. Remember me? William, Nicholas, and Jody. Two down, three more to go. That's not the real story, the real story is all I'm telling you. What is the story? I promise, I'll believe you. I can't, okay? Leave it up to Jody's side. Wait, you know everything I've done in the past? This is so confusing. Wait, are you gonna kill me? Oh yeah!
don't worry about it. Plus, this is where my revenge ends. Got a bad feeling about this, Robert. Don't worry about it. May we come in? You have no idea how unimaginable this is for me. The crap all I've been going through. And it all comes down to you. Of course it does. You have no idea how crazy this is for me. I can't sleep without thinking I'm gonna die. I'm a freak. I'm a child. Everything is weird and insane. And it's all because of you. Now this bullet solve all of my problems. Do you really think it will? Yes. Yes I do. Why does it matter to you? Well, does Valor solve our world problems? No. Exactly. It's better to forgive and forget than find more hate in the past. What happened to me is not worth forgiving about. If you were in my position, you would do the same. I might, but I'd never kill people like you. Okay, just shut up! I want this to end now. Pull the trigger, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Yeah? And why is that? You want to know why all this is happening, Robert? Just listen to him. It might be worth it. What are you talking about? What do you mean? You were in on this too? Indeed he was, Robert. Indeed he was. Everything you think is true about this life is a big fat lie. What are you talking about? You were never an electrician. Nor was your birthday January 23rd, 1977. Your name, in fact, is not even Robert Frost. You were really just a government experiment to see how the human psychologic brain can act when it loses its identity and will give it back by sending clues. Everything is a lie. You do not even know your birthday. Your name is 8015. You are a government toy. Your whole experiment is to see how our society can be violent and aggressive. It is just a whole project that we funded. I'm sorry to say, but you are a lie. Everything is a lie. You are nothing but a toy. Oh, God. <laughs> what about my insomnia? That was just to make you go even crazier. Terry's just a government actor. Sorry to say, but he's telling the truth, Robert. The real end is Franklin. Everybody you killed is just a government actor. Even me. This is just great. The bad news is, this is an experiment under most organizations, including the FBI, and they don't know. This means all of this is highly legal. And this is why this experiment ends right here and right now. Well, the police are here. Your end is now, Robert. Well, I just might as well get it done and over with. Oh my god. Oh god. Freeze!